for me. And uh, me too. one thing, and I don't know because I don't know that I watched the director's cut before. I don't mm. remember, but uh, yeah, I don't so know. I wasn't sure if uh, what made this one different because we did watch the director's cut because um, that was the only one that was available. Um, I did not remember the medical procedures me being either. as horrifying as they were. Uh, yeah, I remember. I even leaned you, over to you. I yeah. was like, I think I'd prefer The Exorcist yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> than going through all this machinery. And like, it was just devastating. Well, like, and, and, and the sound where it's like, yeah. <laughs> and it's doing all these things. And then all of a sudden, and she doesn't know what's going on. She's just doing tests. Like, she, yeah. like her character herself as a 12 year old with all these heavy machinery that looks like it's like military grade. And, and then the, the one, um, the yeah. shot out of the neck. With yeah. The because they, 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 they put the IV into her and it like has like an arterial spurt coming out of her neck of blood. And it's just like right. shooting. Cause they out. had to open up her artery. So it's just like, it, and it's so detailed. They show everything. It's a completely uncut shot yep. of the procedure. Yep. And it's, it really just gives you kind of this weird, like I said, it's just this weird contrast where you're like, okay, this is almost a different version of an exorcism. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, really it, powerful. Scene. And, it, and, and, it, and it's gross and it's uncomfortable and it's, it, it is, you know, the, the medical procedures are almost treated like, like horror scenes while we're yeah. watching them. Yeah. Um, and obviously none of them end up working because the no. issue is not that, uh, she, Satan. yeah, it's, <laughs> the, the issue is Satan and like, like when in doubt Satan, you yeah. know, uh, <laughs> And I mean, Satan, weirdly enough, uh, and I mean, God even enough in this film is kind of a, a bit of a quiet presence because, yeah. because I think what's most interesting, Say especially to me, God, <laughs> yeah, especially, I mean, God is just not, present. Yeah, he's and just I, not present. And, yeah. I, and I think very intentionally, uh, yeah. I, I think what he eventually gets at is the idea that sort of like God is like a, something that man almost kind of like needs to mm-hmm. counter very real horrors, yeah. Which yeah. Uh, in in this case, you know, uh, Satan is very literalized, very externalized. Yeah, that's maybe I mean, he the, says the the demon at least says himself, "I am Satan." Yeah, I well, am the one. And, so and you see it through the physical form of something. It's not like him blowing windows over or him, yeah. you know, doing doing stuff where you're like, that could have been something else. Are you speaking about, like, the, the flashes of the image of the demon yes. itself? Yes, like, yeah. like, like, like he is a very real, literal, physical presence in yes. the film. Yeah. Um, which is just, you know, as far as, let's say, possession films or conjuring films or things like this, a lot of them ne- aren't necessarily, like, they yeah. kind of walk that spiritual plane. Absolutely. Whereas this... This is like no. This is the he devil. can just knock shit over and kill you with it, or yeah. he can push you downstairs, or he can fly yeah. around. And There's no real gray area about mm-hmm. this uh, this possession. Yes, yeah, exactly. yeah which is uh, an interesting choice to make, especially with the <laughs> the very clear lack of any sort of counter to that. Yeah, uh, where it is just like I don't know how the fuck to deal with this. <laughs> yeah, because like the most that they have is just these ancient practices of of exorcism that they've right, just the, had the, from the, their the, old the, institution. Yeah, of church. yeah, that nobody have, remembers how to do. Right, because they haven't had outdated. to do one in like hundreds of years. Yep. So it's uh, so so basically, you just have these two guys going. The power of Christ <laughs> compels you, and that's like it. That's like yeah. their move, you yeah. know? and it works. Okay, that's <laughs> a good. little bit, yeah, for sure. It, it, yeah, and there's a fight for sure, uh, but. <laughs> It's it's so funny to me that like you have Satan or at least the demon who says he's Satan is doing all these elaborate crazy things moving the bed having her lift like her whole body levitating mm-hmm. moving furniture all across the entire room killing people uh, a number of these things and then the only thing that the priest can really do is just hope that the readings put, from this book put some water do, on them yeah them. exactly <laughs> exactly and another interesting point was I guess earlier before the 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 true exorcism uh the one priest says that it's holy water and just starts spraying her oh yeah and then she reacts as if it is and he says it's not it was just normal well you know up for debate on what even holy water yeah. is holy you know that kind <laughs> but of he was shit, saying but that he didn't bless the water he didn't bless it right so. and so it gives this idea of like this one little idea of maybe there is a bit of false Something false going on well, it, here? What it kind of suggests Or at is least that the, the demon's lying, you know, something like that. That or, for me, honestly, what it kind of signaled and what I think it kind of interacts with at the end is that it, it almost signals kind of like a power of just belief. Okay, that, that oh, okay be- yeah. That, that, that because the yeah, demon believed way. it was holy water, it had an that's effect. That's enough. 
Yeah, yeah, which is what kind of which is what I, how I kind of read that, which is because that's also what they end up doing in the end is that it's just these two guys who really have to fucking believe because of yep, th- that's yeah. why it takes so long is because Father Karras, Car- who is um, doing the exorcism alongside uh, Father Marin, I believe, played by Max von Sydow, the older guy who right. we are introduced in the beginning with this really uh, like uh, – ominous almost wordless sequence of him in iraq investigating yeah. like these ancient satan tombs and and it's it's a, that, that amazing shot where it just shows him and then the, and the demon statue, statue and, and it's then the just, sunset in and there. that's all yeah. it is but you feel like there's something totally well the score beyond it's like us, it's, it's like whirring and scratching and yeah. like and the camera's almost like that, shaking with the energy of it like right, it's right. like yeah it's oh it's a it's a powerful sequence and nothing is said you yep. just see a bunch of images that give you these ideas of kind of like ancient evils and and uh, ancient civilizations. Yeah, Friedkin, Friedkin really does this through you know images. Yeah, uh, uh, and you know even even the bit of exposition that there is, it almost doesn't matter because the Satan almost transcends them. They're like, yeah, you yeah. can try and figure this out. That's fine. But ultimately, what it takes is that interaction between Father Marin and Father Karras. Father Karras is having a crisis of faith. Eventually, he has to double down on his faith to eventually get it all correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um,